Hi, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. It's Sunday. Okay, so I've been getting shitloads of downloads like this last week. I can't wait, okay? I really wanted to put this in a really, really, like, organized and pretty package. You know, Spirit has just been telling me that this 13th sign of Fucus is associated with Black Moon Lilith. And then I was reading on its energy and it's totally Lilith, totally. And it's right by Sagittarius, that black moon Lilith type energy. Underemphasized would be the Eve energy. Adam and Eve is who I'm talking about from the Garden of Eden. In other books, mythologies of Jewish and Greece, Mythologies. They talk about Lilith. Apparently, Lilith was mentioned one time in the Christian Bible, which is Isaiah, I think 34, 14. Let's just say mythology, legends, Bible, let's just say it's all just one energy. Okay. Why the hell? Would they leave Black Moon Lilith out of the Bible? One, Adam was Lilith's first wife. She was apparently made from the exact same dirt as God. So that would make them equals, okay? Let's just say twin flame equals. Literally the same energy split in two, masculine, feminine. Has nothing to do with sex. Salt. Two, Adam and Lilith did not work out because they, I would say mutually, wanted to dominate each other, okay? They say Adam wanted to dominate Lilith and wanted her to submit and tried to have sex with her, you know, being on top or forcefully, okay? And she fled to the caves of the Red Sea. But if they're equals, then she wanted to do dominate him as well. So it didn't work out. So in the stories, she fled off to some caves and just was having wild sex with like so many people and having demon children, okay? And the angels were trying to get her to come back to the Garden of Eden and threatened her saying that they would kill a hundred of her demon children every day that she did not return. Something along those lines, okay? So she returned, said that she was going to kill a hundred of Adam and Eve's children. Because they're equals, you know, they're twin flames. Those have been left out. Now, Eve was created by God from the rib of Adam. After Lilith left, Adam was like desperate. He, he just wanted someone. So God created Eve. Now, Eve in the Bible has been talked about, you know, being the good wife. I believe that Eve and Lilith are, there's three of them. There's Adam, there's Lilith, which are equals, and then there's Eve. So maybe the third energy. I haven't really researched about the third energy, but Spirit's just saying third energy. I don't know. So ascending into the heavens, that's a masculine energy, okay? That's spirit, collective spirit. Then you have descending into the physical, and that is a feminine energy. You have to have both to exist. One is ascending and one is descending. The story of the Bible with Eve is descending. It's talking about the physical unity in marriage, okay? Not in spirit. So Lilith and Adam are ascending. They are energetically married in the spirit, in the ascension world, okay? So that's where we want to be. Now, I believe that... If you are united with your other half in the ascending spirit world versus the descending marriage earthly world, you will ascend and you will be able to do your soul's work and purpose here. And you will be able to overcome and let's say just move up to the next level in life. Now, if you do not satisfy that soul's purpose of being here, well, like video games, you have to start... You have to start over. You have to do it again. And then you haven't satisfied your, your karma. 
right? That's kind of the things that I've been getting with this. So I wanted to read you something that I wrote. You guys can take what you want and leave what you don't. There's some things that just won't make sense to you. It won't sink in for you. Or you know a lot more than me. I'm just being guided by spirit to say something. So you do what you want with it. Okay, I personally think that a fucus is associated with Black Moon Lilith. Because Black Moon Lilith is not a physical object in the sky, right? And this is. And it was just discovered recently, right? That would be crazy if it was 2011. Things are revealed to, to us at divine timing. Just because a fucus was discovered doesn't mean that it just appeared, okay? So it could have always been there and we just haven't seen it because Black Moon Lilith is the, the, the night creature. So it is the things that we don't see. And I think that's it's why it's been suppressed as well for so long. It's been suppressed because even us as humans want to suppress those darker, secretive things inside of us. And we don't want people to know. And I feel that that's a part of the, like, the astrology world is, like, they put that out and was like, oh, you know, if you guess is the 13th sign... And all the astrology is just wrong. No, I'm sorry. That's not how it goes. We just realized something great. And I was raised Christian, okay? That I'm supposed to be subservient to my husband and I'm not an equal. That shit don't work. We see it all over the place. Marriage, it's just the earthly marriage does not work. We need... We need spirit marriage. We need twin flames. Two energies that are meant to be together to do their work. that cannot ever be broken because they're already together in the fifth dimension, in the spirit world, not in earthly world. There are a lot of twin flames that are together in the third dimension, which should be a goal, you know? I think everyone's supposed to be with their twin flame, but not everyone will. Be with their twin flame because that's their soul's journey. I feel that people that do end up getting together in the third dimension with their other half or their twin flame, it will be one of their last lives here on Earth. That's a mission. And I want to be with them in the third dimension. However, the marriage dimension from the Bible is not the same as what I'm talking about. They're equals. The man and the woman, the masculine and the feminine are both equals. And they're... Here to do a job for one another, for the world, forever, to ascend. Because I have a lot going through my head all the time. And my hair. My hair! And I, I just couldn't, there's no perfect way or whatever to do this. Okay. Okay, there. I think that's all I have to say right now. I'll let you guys chew on that for a little bit. Um, along with the video, you have to read the captions because there's so much more in layers you know, just like a DNA strand in my brain. And I have all these videos and it's really hard to just put them all together. So I hope that got your wheels spinning a little bit. If you have any questions, 
Email me if you'd like a reading or anything. I'm here for you. You can go ahead and contact me at my email. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and share. Okay, make it a great day. Bye guys.